Podcast and stuff episode. What the f- 160. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my brain was just already okay. in the motion of trying to make the argument when you were when you were talking. It was and the ADD the just argument. kicked the fuck in. Duh. <laughs> I know. I know. I realized as I was saying it, I was just like, there's no need to say this. But my ADD brain was just like, you had the thought you should say it <laughs> i need a word i need a word in this conversation just one you don't <laughs> so <coughs> we are as you can tell now back at our normally scheduled times for good for, now. for good we'll see for good okay for good. cool that's right i, had, I, had, I had actually tell them no more <laughs> oh <laughs> Like, King, hey, you're doing so well. Don't care. I, I, it was basically that. I would like, they were like, King, you're doing, doing like top 
top five percent of people who just walk in here with no tech experience and just and just burning mother. I'm like, but but if I I, I had to make the argument like if y'all give me too much to do too soon, what if I just go? You know what? This is too much. I don't like this job, and I'm out. Or what if I'm like I need to figure out? I need to remember all these ticketing systems. I need to remember all these little intricacies, all these um Active Directories, and I just for, start forgetting stuff. Let me memorize these things and then start putting more and more on my plate. Let me eat this food. Nah, go right in. <laughs> Let me grab this fish. <laughs> <laughs> the problem was, I was like, Let already me... ate. <laughs> Let me reel in this fish, and they give you 18 more fishing lines. But no, 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 these fish. These fish. They just throw a bag of fish sticks at me like, here you go. <laughs> it's what you wanted, right? <laughs> the problem with our, how we started was I was already in combative mode thanks to revisit it. <laughs> <laughs> so I was already ready to just go at people. <laughs> Beautiful. So, so are you doing scripted stuff now or are you still doing the format that you guys are... Uh, revisit it is always going to be live but i also okay. have scripted series i see i see okay yeah. so for the scripted stuff i'm gonna need some <laughs> voice lines every now and then. it's only gonna be a line or two but that for was, the revisited what that was a comment that i just i forget or i think it may have been a tweet or something where uh someone said if they made videos like a real youtuber and that rubbed me the wrong fucking way who said mm. that? I'm ready to go at their neck. <laughs> it was in one of the tweet threads from when he originally called you guys out, the dude. Okay. But uh, yeah, one of the people or fans is like, if they would have made a video like a real YouTuber, which again that rubbed me the wrong way because it's like, who the fuck says what a real YouTuber <laughs> is? <laughs> PewDiePie. Yeah. <sighs> Just yeah, I, that that annoyed me yeah that's but uh nice. what are y'all talking about yeah so uh any spoilers to what this revisited is that you are recording so originally we were gonna do super eye patch wolves uh dragon ball gt what the hell happened <clears throat> okay because we had watched it a while while back and mm -hmm. we were all, we were halfway through and we were making arguments for it and i was like okay uh we can go back to that and revisit because i don't remember what we said um but then, then it was like, we should probably pair this with uh, one of his Dragon Ball Z videos because that GT one is on in like 14, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. So we were with the um, series that changed everything, Dragon Ball Z, the series that changed everything. And we thought we were going to get through that fairly quickly <laughs> because um, Ocean is his video was an hour and 15 minutes. And we did that in just about four hours, a little under four hours. This video is 33 minutes. We are halfway through and we've done two hours. <laughs> God damn. So yeah, I don't. And we like thought that's it was gonna be easy. <laughs> that's not a like a controversial statement, at least for like the time that it came mm. out for the United States. Oh. Absolutely. So, yeah. But he he's saying things like um, the transformations are. Uh, you still see the transformations changing everything in Shonen, thanks to Dragon Ball. It's like. All these other things had transformations. Sailor Moon had transformations. Power Rangers had a transformation. Blah, 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 blah. And, had and there's a big difference between them going, I'm mad now and I'm 50 times stronger, as, as opposed to Luffy going, I'm being trained by a hockey master for two years, learning and, and growing. It's a big difference between that and step into a room and get 50 times stronger. And he talks about the people <clears throat> that have, uh, their whole purpose is finding the next fight. And that's what the Dragon Ball characters are. But really, it's only three characters, and that's Goku, Vegeta, and Tien. Everybody else doesn't really like to fight. They uh, fight because there's a need for it. <clears throat> and it's like, your whole purpose revolves around fighting. You're a terrible character. Uh, he, he puts up panels of uh, where Bulma's like, let's just wish the androids away before they even get started. And Goku, Vegeta, and Tien are like, but we want to fight them. It's like you're putting people in danger because you want the thrill of a battle to test yourself. You're a piece of sh <laughs> And, you know, it's just stuff like that over and over and over again. Runtime. 
it's also just an excuse to just rag on DBZ and what it means to people, and <laughs> it, it'll say something. Crush we'll childhoods, you know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Dragon Ball was our childhood. <laughs> But you gotta recognize. Change and grow. But they don't. They do not. <laughs> Never. So, uh, I have a mostly uh, gaming news. Did you end up seeing uh, it too? Absolutely. Yep, yep. Thoughts it was okay. and opinions? I loved it. <laughs> BG thought it was okay. It was okay. I loved it. BG seems I like the cast. The, uh... the cast was really good, um, but the the plot was very formulaic. It was just like go get this thing and then get scared as a kid and then maybe scared a little bit as an adult. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, there was not enough Pennywise. Not, but you know what? Enough. The whole movie could have been three hours of Pennywise, and I would have went. That's not enough Pennywise. Oh, so man. that's not really a fair <laughs> criticism. He's so good. It what there wasn't enough of the adults together. Yeah, and they were so great together. Um, you know, they flash back to stuff. It makes the first movie um, unnecessary because they show a lot of stuff, new stuff uh, in this movie. And it's just like, it's three hours of one movie. You don't even need to really watch the first one. Hmm. Okay. Um, the ending, cool oh boy. I was just Did... rubbing my hands. Yeah, I was like, oh, they're not going to do that. They're not going to do... Uh, but they didn't, they didn't 100% do it. Yeah. They did enough of it. Okay. I, th- I was going to ask that. <laughs> they did huh. enough of it. But they weren't stupid. They definitely weren't stupid. But yeah, I re- I loved it. Okay. I'd give the first one a 9.5, and I'd give this one like an 8. Okay. Still not bad. It's like a 7 for me. That's cool. I'm not going to you on seems that. like in line with the reviews that I've seen. Hmm. It is what it is. But BG had also been awake for like 82 hours at that point. <laughs> what the fuck? Why? Why? Uh, plus, plus, you had just walked out of, quote, your favorite movie of the year. My favorite movie. So maybe of the that year. peppered it a little bit. I'm, just, I'm not giving excuses or anything. I'm just saying. I was working overnight, and uh, the movie, the, the showtime we were going to was 1150. So the theater opened at 10, so I was like, I need a 10 a.m. movie to watch until the 11.50 showing of it. And I watched Ready or Not, and it is my favorite movie of the year so far. Coming in at a brisk hour 30 as opposed to five and a half hours. (laughs) (laughs) Everyone should go watch Ready or Not. It is ridiculous. Okay. My favorite movie of the year so far. My top 10 list at this moment is going to be very controversial. Oh, wow. (laughs) Shock of shocks. I yeah, that movie. Like... Let's just say there's a certain children's movie that's in there where the child is no longer a child. Her what? name is Dora. Oh. Really? That huh. movie is really good. I really liked it. <laughs> I've I've been intrigued by that movie. Have not watched it's it. It's really but... good. <laughs> It's so good. I can't believe it. I've never heard you talk like this before. <laughs> because it's a movie that I shouldn't. I went into you that cartwheeled movie. cartwheeled in that movie for the goo. For the goo! <laughs> but then it went, dang it. It got me. <laughs> this is super good. It's, it's, it's probably like my... It's between four and six right now, probably. I'd have to actually look at the movies I've seen today, uh, this year. Alita is definitely up there. Really? That's probably number good. two or three. Good, I good. love that. Uh, but yeah, Ready or Not is easily number one. And then probably Alita. And Dora would probably fit into like the six round. Okay. I am surprised because I wanted <laughs> Goof, but I got greatness. She's such a dork. I love her. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Child's Play. Yeah, that would definitely be up there. Oh. I'm actually going to have to look through my list, but go ahead. Keep talking. Oh, All Escape right. Room! Jesus Christ! Yeah, Dora might be closer to the six range. <laughs> okay. Um, On the movie note, 
One Piece Stampede is getting a U.S. theatrical run. Give me all of that! But where's hashtag my new voyage? We're not talking about that right now. We'll get to that when we get to it. But people have been saying... <laughs> we that. not getting to it! People are saying that that movie is amazing and it's fantastic. And I'm just like, I can't... No spoilers, no spoilers, no spoilers. I've been just waiting and waiting and waiting. And I'm so happy that we getting it and we getting it dubbed. Yep, yep. I would have accepted it, Sub, but now it's just like, Dub, get in there. Get in there. I would have um, accepted it, Sub. So it's fine. Uh, rumors are saying October, but this hasn't been 100% confirmed yet. We still getting it. Um, Apparently, they're they're recording it right now. Jewelry Bonnie's um, VA was just like, yo, I'm doing Jewelry Bonnie for Stampede, y'all. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, I got to delete the tweet? All right. I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm not Jewelry Bonnie no more? Okay, I accept that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's what happened, but she told me that tweet. <laughs> uh, Chuck Huber has a voice in there? Probably not no more. <laughs> get him out of there. I was about to say. Go and get. Go and get. Oh, <laughs> Sabo's in there. Who's Sabo? <laughs> Due to uh, <laughs> recent things in the uh, Vic Mignogna oh, case, man. Chuck Huber is probably never voicing a Funimation ever again. I'm sitting, I'm Wait, sitting there what? this whole time. They're just like, yo, here comes bro, dra- the Dragon Ball Super Broly in Fighters. Here he comes. I'm like, oh, who, what are you going to sound like? <laughs> yeah. What What's going on there? That's, that is very true. Didn't even I've think never... about that. I didn't hear about that. So, yeah. Chuck Huber uh, had an affidavit in Vic Mignogna's oh, case. He, he that, carpet uh, bombed Funimation. He opened yeah. up his butt cheeks and went, I'll see y'all later. And he flew away while farting. Yeah. Basically, <laughs> it was it like... Right on Sabbath's <laughs> desk yeah. and went peace out. <laughs> yeah. For whatever reason, he mentioned Sabbath a bunch, even though he's not involved in the lawsuit at all. And then other disparaging things about Funimation. And yeah, oh. he uh, <laughs> he's uber toast. Android Yikes. seventeen, yeah, he no <laughs> oh, <laughs> new yeah, voice. Was like, I'm done recording him. I check this out. <laughs> Yikes! What the hell possessed him to do that? He's uh, he's a very good friend of Vic. Literally, it. and now That's Vic is for some bush. He getting it from all sides. Yeah, just yeah. <laughs> there's... I heard a lot of there's a bunch Dude, of crap the, involved the in that. Dick's trial. Whoo! Mm. Talk about I, carpet bombing. Yeah, we. I. I want to talk more at length about that once the final is rulings are settled, just because it's still Most in of flux. It is already thrown out, but yeah. there's still the disparaging comments uh, that need defamation. to be ruled on. Yeah, defamation that needs yeah. to be ruled on. That'll be ruled so on by weird. October 7th, and basically, um, if they're not dismissed, then it just continues on, potentially, to trial. Yeah. Because they can appeal the non-dismissal stuff. Court, it's long and arduous, and... <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. I, I, I literally had a big misconception of court, because I always thought it was like, I'm suing you, see you in court tomorrow. <laughs> No. no, it is literally not that <laughs> yeah. month. Phoenix, right? <laughs> I, I, I legit three thought, day court system. I legit thought that it was. I'm suing you. I'll see you next week. I, I legit thought it was like that. And then it's just like, oh no, 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 you're not even getting into court this year, maybe. <laughs> like, and then this is a, March. You're on jury duty, and it's just like, okay, uh. <laughs> Come back tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah, we ain't getting nothing done today. Come back tomorrow. Oh, this is going to be months. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, on to... Uh, not, uh, oh, wait, go ahead. We get, before we get to the game stuff, that's when I shut. Well, um, one thing you'll be not shutting up about, but continue. Um. So... As we all know, the ninth season of My Little Pony is the final season. <laughs> yeah, we all know this. All yep. know. Yeah, this is public knowledge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Factual. So um, we're we're on in airing, we're on episode like 19. So there's only 26 episodes in the season. The rest of the season got leaked. 
all just out there online, all finished. It's not like, oh, this part needs to be storyboard, oh, this part needs sound effect. No, it's all just out there. There was a Chinese leak, and then they pulled all those. Now it's just a straight finish oh, leak. I saw that, actually. Yeah, big bad. This happened, like, two or three weeks ago. So yeah, like, I saw I saw it just this past weekend. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm I'm not I can't I can't I'm not I can't see anything. I'm not seeing anything. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm gonna spoil my little pony for anybody who cares. Nobody cares. But I'm gonna spoil it. <laughs> so uh, one of the episodes, I think it's episode twenty three or so. Spike. There were, I'm, <laughs> boy, I'm 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 not talking. Uh there there are three <laughs> characters who have been little kids since episode one. Ooh. They've always been little kids. Episode one. Uh, I saw a screenshot of them as adults, and I'm like, "Oh, sh- the last episode is a time skip. I can't yep. handle this. I need to see all of this." So I just went um, last Saturday. I went, "Okay, I need to just sit down and watch all the rest of MLP." So episode 23, they wish themselves to be older. So I was like, "Oh, so it's not a future episode." Hey, chickity chick, check that out. Future episode, episode 26, 20 years. What I assume is in the future. Everybody grown up. Mm-hmm. Old characters are dead. They're just like not even mentioned. Applejack, <laughs> she's got her grandma. Her name is Granny Smith. She's got this neckerchief, this orange neckerchief with apples on it. Applejack show up wearing that neckerchief. I'm like, Granny Smith, dead. I don't need this. Why y'all doing that? <laughs> and they they went, this our last episode? Word? Guess what? Applejack and a rare, a Rainbow Dash are married. What y'all gonna do? Cancel us? Middle fingers up. Chuck Huber in this bit. <laughs> I went, what? They they just walk in. They don't outright say that they're married. They just walk in and just like, Applejack's like, uh, Rainbow Dash goes, why don't you let me do any chores? And she's like, well, if you did the chores right, maybe I wouldn't have to do them after you. And it's like, whoa, that, we don't even need to think about anything. That's what's happening. Because they opened up a newspaper and it was just like these long standing, hey, we think these two characters are gay. Hey, there's a newspaper, a little article, they're both married. Flip the page, that's done. Don't think about it. If you ain't see it, you ain't see it. But the people that saw it, they saw that and they were like, what the f y'all doing? Middle fingers in the air, we out this bit. That's what they doing. They mad men. They came out that bit. Episode 26, they all grown. Oh my goodness. I don't remember last time I cried. I cried like in um <laughs> in Coco. They got like two tears from me. I cried in like uh Kill a Kill. They got like two tears from me. I'm a big mo when it comes to like people coming together and helping. And in Kill a Kill, there was this big moment where they're in this airship and the airship was powered mm-hmm. by um uh like these big airship. <laughs> yeah, you can say that. They were powered by these like big gerbils running on the wheel. And the airship was falling because the uh, gerbils got tired. And then it was just like, oh, the airship is falling. We about to die. And then they cut back to the airship. And then and then on the, on the little wheel, it's all the people that uh, Ryuko had beaten, the main character. She had beaten and all the people that she had befriended. And they're all running. I'm like, oh, this is so great. I love crap like that. And that happened in the last episode of My Little Pony. Because in the, uh, the whole past two seasons, School of Friendships, everybody's involved. There's this dude that's just like only ponies, and then Twilight's like, no, everybody's involved. Yaks, um, uh, changelings, dragons, Pegasus, uh, uh, Griffins, whatever. So, um, at the last episode, there'd be three villains that have been omnipresent throughout the whole thing. They're like, we're gonna come together, we're gonna beat all of these people. And what they did was they they went around and started sowing discord. They're like, yo, uh, Earth ponies, Pegasus suck. They 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 screwing up the weather. You'll need them, and they just went to each and every race, which is like that's what happened. So, uh, Piddle the had... wall, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It was basically that. So, um, <laughs> damn. So, those three uh characters they they were basically just like, okay, main six, time to die. And then the main six was just like, yep, we dying, but we dying together. And they just closed their eyes, and just a big blast come towards them. It's like, yep, this is the end. But then they got a big shield around them, and they look around the uh, the hill, and it's all the 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 griffins and all the people that that and the, and the students had gone over to the, the dragons had gone over to the dragons. Like the ponies are good, and the griffins had gone over to the griffins. Was like, yo, the ponies are good, and they all came to help after all that discord that was being sold. I was like. Oh, that 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 got me. 
that got me real, real bad. But it was the last episode where it was just like boom, 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 because it comes out the gate. The the twenty fifth episode is just like we're always gonna be friends. We just had this world stopping, world ending battle where it's just like everybody could have died. We're going out and we're eating donuts and we're just laughing and talking. We're always gonna be friends. Frame out, they're laughing. Done. Next episode, twenty years later, <laughs> Spike is huge. He was tiny and now he's huge. And I went, mother, they got me. They got me. They got me. I'm the fool. <laughs> it is a time skip episode. Twilight's huge. Pinkie Pie, she's got a child with a, a Weird Al's character. Rainbow Dash and 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 Twilight and and, 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 and Applejack <laughs> are together. What are y'all doing? What happened there? <laughs> Rarity, my girl Rarity. This whole time she's like, "Yo, I can only make dresses for ponies. That's my specialty." And she comes in like, "I just came from the Yaks uh, fashion show uh, that I did, and I was making dresses for Yaks." And I'm like, "You doing it? You out here doing it? Everybody doing big boy things. I loved it." My goodness, boy, I was inconsolable because there was this last like three minute uh, uh, song where they're just going through Ponyville and they're showing all these old characters and these dead characters and they they got their pets and Applejack had this dog. Dog ain't there, but the dog's puppies are there. They're not showing gravestones or anything, but that dog dead. And you don't want to <laughs> think about that. Oh man, that, ooh, ooh, I'm just sitting there just like, ooh. And, there, and <clears throat> Jesus they had, Christ. my goodness, my goodness. Um, they had the, the replacement main six, which was called the student six, the, the yak, the dragon, blah, 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 blah. Little yak. She was a littlest yak. She was just a little yak. <laughs> All the yaks that they showed, she was always the littlest. They show her for one scene, and she a big yak now. And I, oh, that got me. I was like, oh, she's so big now. Oh, oh, that got me. They showed her for one scene. I'm like, oh. And then the final, the final shot is just like, they're all just on a hilltop and they're just happy and they're just alive. And the book, the episode one book opens and they start talking. This episode book closes. I'm like, boom, inconsolable. I'm just like, <laughs> like this dumb show got me like this. This dumb show for little girls got me like this. I'm getting mad at myself. I'm like, man, I'm glad ain't nobody around. Somebody walking in like, you all right? I'm like, oh man, I could have some spicy. You know, I could have some spicy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, my little brothers were uh, playing Smash. I'm like, I want to play Smash. I want to just get this feeling. And I just sat there in silence. I don't sit in silence ever. I just sat there in pure silence. Just like, I don't want to do anything. It's over. And I hate it that it's over. But it's so good. To the last moment. And they're visibly older as well. They got all these great haircuts and their great outfits and stuff. And it's just like, oh. So yeah, My Little Pony is over. Um... <laughs> <laughs> when you said you said something when you're describing the yak, it was like a little yak, and just for some yeah. reason, I got in my head where it's like the, the next product line and the next show is My Little Yak, My Little <laughs> Yak. <laughs> like that doesn't quite roll off the tongue. <laughs> but yeah, there was a there was just a bunch of things in that last episode. They were just like, "Yep, here you go." Here you go. Here's everybody that you care about. You're just talking, just walking around. Everybody's still just happy and healthy, unless you're old and you just died and we're not going to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma's dead. <laughs> talk about she, she just big dead. And Mama you Coco? know she big dead. Because she, she all went when they put up Coco, my, Mama Coco picture. That that's what got me. Of everything else, Same. that's what got me. <laughs> that's what I was just like, oh man, because it's only Coco. a year later. And it's like, there and you then go. It, they just stole the ones. Like, yep, just playing all normal. Just slowly put the call. I'm like, oh, well, you were just here. We just saw you. And then it doesn't help, or it's like, oh, they go to the. <clears throat> the dead world and then she's reunited with her mom and dad it's like, no, but it's still so Ooh. good <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good hurt just like my love yeah. that ending of my love that was a good hurt. it's there's over. nothing better than good hurt it's it's big over and and it's and it's been good all this time and this ending <laughs> was better than anything i could have expected that is 100 so percent the cover i have a question for you what do you think 
like will be the next time you feel something like this? Boy, I don't know because I don't remember the last time I felt it one like piece. this. That's what one I'm piece. thinking too. Yeah, one piece. Once, once <laughs> one piece starts gearing up towards it, or if like a Usopp dies, that's gonna be just me face down for a while. <laughs> you know, like, it's gonna be an awesome death. <laughs> just in, inject me with nutrients. <laughs> Only enough nutrients to survive, please. I don't want to get not in excess. <laughs> I want to deteriorate. Just not enough to die. <laughs> not enough that I need to use the bathroom or anything. I just want to lay here. Strap that diaper on me. <laughs> Catheter, please. Yeah. Um, Usopp dying is going to be big crying. She, it, it, good thing he's not going to. Yeah, okay. At this point, Brooke dying would be big crying too. Yeah, there are a handful of shots. I can handle a Zoro death because I feel like he's gonna get an honorable swordsman death. I can handle a, a Zoro death. I can handle a, a Sanji death. Nami maybe Robin. I can't really handle Frankie. I can handle no something like if if Nami was just like Big Mom was just like give me back. If she just like here take I can't I can't do anything. Just take it back. Thank you. Zap. <laughs> And it's just there. I'm like, oh, that that would get me. Yeah, that would be terrible, actually. <laughs> but yeah, I can't think of anything other than than One Piece and because this is I've been a fan of this for legit almost ten years, and that's that's and it's and it's been good and it's been consistent. I haven't just I, I've only lapsed in watching episodes like once, and I all caught up on them. There's still like the Equestria Girl series. There's still like one more movie in the past, and then they're going on to Gym Five, which I'm gonna poke my head in. But, but yeah, I don't think anything is gonna get me like that. Long-standing, consistently good things are going to hit you hard yes. with their ending. And once <laughs> unless they the fucking thing, nose dive like Game of oh, Thrones. Oh boy! <laughs> unless they know. <laughs> Bro, if no, if One Piece gets terrible, I'm legit gonna get hurt. <laughs> it's gonna hurt. Like, very All of a sudden, yeah. Oda comes out of nowhere and he's just like, "Yeah, I'm just throwing it out there. I'm out of ideas, guys." This is. But this, don't this, worry, this is, this is... I am bringing in my friend Akira Toriyama to help finish One Piece. <laughs> he just starts collabing with the guy who did Naruto and, Tor- and Toriyama <laughs> together. I mean, he is a he is a friend to Kishi. I'm a mm-hmm. friend. My good but, friend, uh, Tight Kubo. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, that's first off a lot, because Kubo <laughs> is jealous of that man. <laughs> I I was drinking, and that I almost misted my computer like it was the back of DA's head. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> I had to just you pull my that? hand over my mouth. I made him laugh and he spit all over the t- back of your head in like a Walmart or something. We were at Meyer, yeah. Or Kroger, either one. It was probably that uh that store over at Mike. And you're just like, what the f you don't remember this at all? No. Your brother made like the leg joke because you were like walking around with like, a limp or something. Oh like that. yeah, yeah, it was the leg. We just you ragged on yourself about the leg and it killed him. Yeah. Uh, your super short leg in that picture with the Mario dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. And then I, I just the I walked around the corner head. for the after aftermath. <laughs> That's all I remember. I was in another aisle and I hear all of you laughing and then start laughing harder. Oh go ahead and watch this. You look at this picture, there's nothing you can say that I haven't already said to myself. Instantly saying something. <laughs> I said, why is one of your legs shorter than the other? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, hey, let me see that. <laughs> do you still have that picture? Yeah, I do. Let me see that. Because, <laughs> dude, how did you not notice your leg? I legit, I I legit covered the entire back of DA's Titan coffee. <laughs> yeah, that was that was funny. It was Giant Eagle because there's a Starbucks in there. Okay. Yeah, okay. it was Giant Eagle. Yep. I think like, it was. Oh, my God. Yoma's oh. going to be a fucking time this year. <laughs> It is. We have uh, a lot of stories. Oh, yeah. Again, <laughs> now that if we're all going to be in one room together, too, oh, it's going to be a fucking time. Or the dual rooms or the fuck we're getting. Is that solidified, by the way, BG? I have it. Okay. Stories get, things can always change if somebody finds other things, but that's what we got right now. Okay. All right. We just need to start <laughs> talking about price and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
All I right. Don't think we're probably not going to get anybody else. Yeah. I, I mean, I could so. find other people, but we're probably. <laughs> um, so, as far as uh, random game news, um, a couple of trailers have dropped early from the Tokyo. Oh, wow. Why can't I? Tokyo Game Show? Yeah, Tokyo Game Show. Yes. Well, I blanked on the name. Um, <clears throat> one being uh, Project Resistance, which is the Outbreak game, Resident Evil Outbreak game that seems to be in the RE2 engine. And I, I, I can't get hyped for this because I don't know what it is. Yeah, I mean, like, not a whole lot was revealed. Just that uh, some... It looks like they're going the, Res- the, Re- yeah, the Re- uh, not Resident Evil, Jesus Christ, the Left 4 Dead route. I think Kelly has it right. <clears throat> I think it may be a survival multiplayer campaign game like Left 4 Dead. Well, I, I think it's going to be just a RE2 version of Resident Evil Outbreak. If people don't remember that game, it was a uh, co-op campaign Resident Evil game in the like Resident Evil 1 play style, no. the tank controls. No. It's, hmm? not, it's not going to be like that. I don't think it's... Outbreak, would, Outbreak was good. This don't look good. Yeah, this this looks like they're throwing something out the fucking gate just to get it out. It looks really rough in the trailer, but we'll see how it looks yeah. when we get more from it. Well, I just it was I can't even say it looks rough just because it's it was uh, a CD trailer. The yeah. uh, thing with Outbreak was it was four people going through a campaign, but you know you can get bit and infected, and then the people have to deal with that and stuff. But this looks more like Evolve. And that it's from oh, um, no. Dead by Daylight or something, where it's no. four people against one person. Now, is the one person controlled or is the one person uh, computer generated? Who knows? But the one person is going to release zombies and set traps and activate liquors at key points. And maybe they'll have to wait until uh, they get enough built up power to do whatever they need to do. So, to Castle Defense. Yeah. No, so, what like Fable, Defense. so, what Fable Legends was supposed to be. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I, it's not going to be Outbreak. And that's the sad thing, because I want... Okay. Hmm. I see what you're saying. I'm personally hoping... What are you doing? <laughs> Dude, I've never taken a good picture... In my life. In my life. In... Okay. Uh, we were looking at his Mario leg picture. picture. Oh. It is legit one of the greatest things I've ever seen. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this isn't going to be Outbreak. I want Outbreak 3 so, so. But it's, Does, not, it's it, not happening. What did that come out for? It was PS2, right? PS2, correct. I wonder if I could get... So I found this cool thing. Um, <clears throat> this uh, software... Where, in essence, all it really does is allow a person to take control of your computer. Oh, you're you're late. Fighting game players have been using that for... Yeah, like, I know, but, like, months. some people are now starting to see the appeal for Let's Plays and stuff. But that mm-hmm. would be a fun one, where if I could get a PS2 working locally and capturing with that, and then you just sign in with a PlayStation 3 controller over the net, mm-hmm. that might be fun. <clears throat> I do yeah, like. That's easy to do. I remember liking playing those games, but no one else had it, so I didn't have anyone to play it with. When I I I've gotten through three campaigns with full people, which was so amazing. But eventually the server started going down, and I, I know it's gonna be over. Yeah. <laughs> um, there was a trailer for the DLC for Kingdom Hearts Three, which. <laughs> lean back lean back that's me because i'm leaning back because i don't need to hear this like yeah the two new forms look cool with Oathkeeper and oblivion but like i don't know if i'll want to go back to play the game talking Have you about touched it since critical no. mode came out no i beat the game i got to uh level 100 and made the ultimate keyblade and then put it down the revamp combat system for critical mode actually is kind of fun. See, that's not, I don't really, the gameplay aspect of it isn't what's pushing me away. I enjoyed the gameplay immensely. Okay. It's how, talking about going back to things that nosedive at the end. 
that's how I felt about this game. The ending just it, it Mass Effect three'd me. <laughs> oh god. What, are you talking about the ending ending or the, the lead up to the ending and all that? The ending ending. Okay. No, I dig it. I was about to say I, but but that was again, that was a good hurt. <sighs> I will make you I, I think I think that was a fantastic hurt. Because that was the biggest okie doke I've ever experienced. Yeah, I, I agree with CA here. They didn't. They it, it wasn't a cheap thing. They just played with your emotions, and then they just took it away from you. I, I really enjoyed that. I can't. I can't see how that's a negative for you, other than it made you feel something you didn't want to feel. No, in which case, I just success. I was expecting more finality. Well, oh, no. That, no, no, that sounds like, a, like an error on your own part there Absolutely. because Nomura said going into the release, this isn't the final game. It's the closing of Xehanort's saga, not Sora's story. There was no finality to see in this game besides it, Xehanort literally ending. Yeah, my expectation, uh, my expectation was from that statement was there would be more Kingdom Hearts games. It just there would be new characters. Or following no, characters he, that they introduce. There's he never had, stated. There's never no, stated he said that it was the end of Xehanort. But yeah, Sora I know he will stayed, have more stories to tell. He didn't say the stuff about Sora. He said the stuff about. I Xehanort. remember reading stuff him. At least one article of him saying that. Because I went into that game expecting fully Sora to still make it through and be the main character after the next game. I had had discussions with some of my friends about that, not on the podcast, but outside, meaning like. Do we feel like Sora needs more stories? But at the end of three, they set up a future plotline. Okay. Yeah, they didn't really. It wasn't okay. I think they set it up really well because outside of a whole new cast of characters, mm -hmm. this is the best thing they could have done. They could have no, no. either done this or they could have done uh, they're sitting on an island and then, hey, problem arrived. Yeah. No, no, I agree with they you. Have, it's just They have a goal right now to go to going when, into the next game as opposed to oh what are they gonna do next yeah. when when the game ended i say kind of okay is because for me i didn't have a piece of the puzzle in hand when i finished the game with like not the four i keep want to call them the forerunners the foreteller what were they called again the masks people at the end that no, talks I, I know what you're talking about I don't know. yeah them i didn't know that plot line when i finished the game and when i found out that plot line the ending made a lot more sense and the setup made a lot more sense. So it's better to me now. But when I finished the game, I'm saying, I was like, oh, this is okay. Yeah. I'd, I'd, I have no drive to go back. But the DLC has been in that. Was there a date? I forget if there's a date that was yeah. in the trailer. March, I think. No, okay. not March. Uh, is it? No, that's, you're thinking FF7. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is it October? <laughs> Which, Might be October. I'd have to look. Um,. But yeah, the other trailer that got released today was a new trailer for FF7 remake. Uh, it's pretty. It's what yeah, I it's what I expected. The game looks beautiful, and people that we know that are giant fans of Final Fantasy are just gushing over Aerith's dress. Mm hmm. And you, then it looks like you have something to say. I'm not Do certainly. you? I most certainly don't. Just say people, it. What do you have to say? No, no. Uh, people can be fans of this. They enjoy the series. I don't. Enjoy your fandom. I'm glad you got what you wanted. <laughs> that sounded way more uh, sarcastic than I meant it to. And way more bitter than I meant it to. You guys, <laughs> you guys enjoy getting your game. I am actually am happy they got their thing because they have waited a long time for it. And yeah. I'm glad that um, it's something different. So, you know, it's not just their game, mm -hmm. but yeah. prettier. It's something <laughs> new for them. Oh, God. Yeah, I got nothing to say about it. The Everybody song, knows my feelings there. about Final Fantasy VII. Mm -hmm. yeah. Vis-a-vis so, other JRPGs. <laughs> so, <laughs> it, it, it's the story aspect that so you have most of the problems with, correct? Mm, no. Um, I, I don't find the combat system interesting because it's the third combat system of a JRPG I tried. Uh, the first one was Dragoon and the second one was Lagaya. Actually, Lagaya might have been. Uh, and those are very interesting to me. Uh, one being rhythm based, and the other being, you know, combination based. And then it's just like hit X at this moment yeah. to do this thing. Uh, 
I feel the material system limits uh, creativity in terms of how you have to construct your team because anybody can be a great healer or anybody can be a great mage user okay. if you just connect the material to them. So there's no point in going, I need a black mage for this. I need to build up this white mage to heal when Cloud can just heal and do fire magic. Okay. So, yeah. uh, so the combat system, uh, the material system, and I don't, it, the plot is whatever, it's a JRPG. So I was curious if the with the new gameplay mechanics if you might go back to it or not. I don't know. Um, I pretty much enjoyed Final Fantasy fifteen, so maybe I will. Maybe okay. I'll enjoy this one. But uh, if material still works the same, I got no. Yeah, <laughs> that's very very valid. Um, yeah. but yeah, then the rest yeah, of Tokyo. I'm game not show. one of these talking mouths that's just like Final Fantasy seven popular, so not good. I have reasons for the things I like and the things I don't yeah, like. I know. I like you piece of YouTubers. Nah, they got it right. The you legitimate YouTubers that make legitimate YouTube videos, though, right? Ooh. <laughs> this mother, this mother <laughs> put in the comment of one of our revisits, the last part. Uh, I just don't think, I don't think you got the point. Uh, you sh This dude worked hard and you guys are just dragging it through the mud. That's why I have a problem with it. And it's like, have you never went, oh, this was she, to a movie or a TV show? Because I'm sure people worked hard on that. Why, why is it immune to criticism? Hard work does not equal immunity. Hard work. Just because somebody works hard on something doesn't make it good. It doesn't make it good, and it doesn't make it immune to go, this ain't good. And that his Golden Wind video was not good. I've Works actually like been theory. told that before by somebody that said it's not right to judge AMVs and give critique because everyone's trying their best. <laughs> I just went, you can't get better if someone doesn't tell you what you're screwing up. Otherwise, you just end up with a fucking montage of clips that make no goddamn sense. And you end up with a bunch of fans that go, you're doing a great job. Don't change. No, improve. And I don't mean my new improvements in like editing and things like that and scripting and not saying resolve twice in one sentence. I mean actual change in how you perceive things and how you critique things. Because if and how you create things if you're an AMV editor. Because if you're an AMV editor and going. Everybody likes this action-y stuff and everybody's just applauding me and I could just make the same video over mm -hmm. and over and over again except with just different songs, no yep. story, nobody has to think about anything. All they see is pretty full stuff. Everyone's good. Like, you're not going to improve on that. I don't like how That's you're throwing, why you should try a rap AMV. Here. That's why you should try <laughs> a slower AMV. That's why you should try to do new things yeah. and take some criticism. If you cannot take criticism, you should not be creating because you're not oh, yeah. working to improve. You're just working to work and to have praise heaped upon you. And it's the worst. I have had many of my own creations. I'm like, this is, what was I doing? My <laughs> own stuff. I can't look at most of my art. <laughs> Because you should be able to look at your own things and find the problems of them. Not going, ah, they said this. They're, they're so small. You can't big league people. Just take the criticism, look at it, listen to it, and you can decide if you believe it's valid or not. Someone going, ah, that person sucked. That's not a valid criticism. Yeah. So you don't have to take that. You can just go, you're just hating. Get out of here. Nobody, nobody cares about what you're saying. But if you go, hey, you messed up editing here. Hey, that's not this. Hey, uh, I, you didn't explain this point. Hey, how is this and this? And you go, aha, whatever, you're small. You suck. Mm -hmm. Get your shit together. Peace I feel up. like people these days are so just like, oh, any criticism must be coming from a negative place. That's it's not it the truth. It doesn't need to. See, there's two things. Neg uh, criticism is always negative, which it isn't. Uh, criticism is vastly positive if you take the positives from it. Even if someone is speaking harshly and negatively about you, you can take the positives from it. And 
criticism, people conflate it into uh, nitpicking, which is, is not the same no, thing. Every time not. somebody criticizes something, they go, oh, they're nitpicking such and such thing. But it's not the same. Again, if you go, um, oh, all the women in One Piece look alike, all the pretty women. That's not a, a nitpick. That's a criticism. They look alike. Oda is not good at that, and he knows he's not good because he said, if somebody tells me to draw, I can draw a thousand women, but if somebody tells me to draw 10 pretty women, I can only draw what I think is a pretty woman, and they're going to look the same. Oda understands his own limitations as far as uh, pretty women go. He mm -hmm. understands the criticism. And he tries to change it, giving them different features, give them this and that and the third to hat. try to improve it. But he understands where his limitations are. That's that's an actual criticism. Not a nitpick of like, um, oh, why does uh, his hair change from this scene to the next? That's just nitpicking. Something happened in a small, that you're nitpicking. You're just trying to find something. How can come on? Like, just take the criticism to heart, take it to heart, and decide if it's good or bad for what you want to, how you want to, and not all of it is bad, even if someone is speaking badly about it. I would love for Ocean Edge to improve. I would love for him to come out with a new Golden Wind video that goes, "I'm going to try to better my points," because the points he was saying about fate. Makes no sense. I would love if Super Eye Patch Wolf came out with a GT video of like, I am trying to better my point. I would love if these people came out and went, I'm trying to better myself. I would love if an AMV editor came out and said, I have heard what you guys have said. I'm trying a new thing. And if people go, this doesn't work, you go, okay, that didn't work. Let me try something else. But it's not happening. Oh, Sad yeah. day. <laughs> oh yeah. And then in episode twenty-five of MLP, there was a big battle. <sighs> it's so uh, good. Because so, the group themselves. Oh, you're actually doing this. No, no, <laughs> no. no. Like a mismatch no. of like a changeling, a minotaur, oh. and a pony. So they they came together and they oh. were doing this. Stop, he's already dead. So, it was the ending was so good. Your DA, DA, I'll distract I'll distract you. This Borderlands 3 talk. This is my next thing. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <clears throat> you One, know something? I'm a person that's just like, mm. I wanna play that game and I'm gonna play that game. <laughs> <laughs> just, I mean, oh, but Randy Pitchford and and the Steam and the, the whatever that other shop is. Yeah, but I'm gonna play that game. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, um. Oh yeah, he also just finished Tales from the Borderlands because there's some story stuff in there that you need. So he just finished that up. Okay. Quite, 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 really liked it. Yeah, one it comes out in two days. Uh, two reviews are looking very good. Yeah, I've heard um, it's a good game, and I've heard that it's a Borderlands game. <laughs> it's a good yeah, Borderlands that's, game. That's probably that's the best a you're gonna get. Fair statement. Yeah, and that's just like, yep, it's a Dynasty Warrior game. I'm like, yep, I know what I'm getting into. Ah, <laughs> uh, guilty pleasure, guilty, guilty pleasure. Oh, that game! I ain't, I ain't guilty mine. about nothing. <laughs> That game is. I'll go up and down game. the street going, that new Muso One Piece game looks amazing. Thank you for blessing me with Karen. Thank you. But the thing is, Whole Cake Island, Word, Wano, get in there. You serious? I right, cool. But the thing is, all the Power Rangers, cool. <laughs> but the thing is, uh, people truly believe that the One Piece Pirate Warriors three or two or whatever it was was the best pirate I mean, uh warriors game in history i say yeah yeah that's what i'm saying so just to go uh a new one's coming out i'm guilty it's a guilty pleasure no it's literally the best i mean but but even stuff I'm, that not... I'm just like even stuff like uh even stuff that i'm like yeah this is bad and i i don't care i'm not guilty about anything that i watch <laughs> And nothing, anything that I experience, any kind of media, I ain't guilty about nothing. I like it, and I will defend my like of it if I can. Sometimes <laughs> I'm just like, whatever. Because I watch, a, I, I read a lot of manga that is just like, hey, it's this school setting, and here's this one quirk. 
why do you like it? I'm like, well, I like characters. There's a lot of good characters in there. <laughs> there's, there's, there's something I'm reading right now called uh, Comey Can't Communicate. And it's just this girl. Yes! Yes! I love that! My dude! My dude! Get in there! <laughs> it is, Ain't that the best? It, it is so pure. <laughs> Ain't it the best? Oh, my God. What the fuck just happened? Why don't you go I've been recommending this manga to Kelly forever because it is a very, very nice slice of life slash romance manga, and it is fucking adorable. All it's the characters the are best. amazing. And if you said, why do you like that? I'd be like, characters. And I'd shut up for a million years because the characters, all you need are those characters. I'll say this. You give me good characters, you 50% of the way. Give me great characters, you 80% of the way. And that's got amazing characters. And there's so many of them. They just start piling and piling and piling. It's just like these dumb characters with these dumb one quirks. But they, they're all together and they're in these situations that make them great. And Comey's so great. And I just love this dumb show. And I just like, what well, characters? And I start getting all defensive. Like, I can't like characters. What's wrong with Shut up. <laughs> but it's just a really good, it's funny, it's pure. Romance is good. It's sweet. It's just a, an amazing manga. And I'm just like, I can't put this down. I'm so glad that there's like 400 chapters of it. So like the, the main, like the, super quick synopsis of this manga is there is this girl uh that is at the school she is considered like an idol she is super beautiful like ideal uh girl in the school and then the other main character is like this loser <laughs> just He's basically like this plain loser yeah plain loser guy um and basically no one ever dared approach Komi because she she was untouchable. She was a god the people literally call her a goddess in the uh in the school. And it gets to a point where in like the first or second chapter they have to do some uh the main character and uh Tadako, I believe. Tanako. Yeah. Um Tanako and Komi have to do some kind of thing and he tries to strike up a conversation and she doesn't talk to him and he gets like a little like, okay, she just doesn't wanna socialize with a, a pleb <laughs> like me and then she starts writing on the chalkboard and she says i have a communication disorder it's very hard for me to talk and, and it's basically, just that for 400 chapters of her just going i can't talk to people throughout the entire manga there's very brief instances where she does speak and it's just like she's slowly very slowly but it's still like <gasps> Like, every time she talks is a big deal. <clears throat> but mostly she's just writing down on paper and stuff. Yeah, she has a notebook that she just holds up. And from then on, after that that chapter where she introduces it, 99% of the time when they show her, she is this derpy little <laughs> comic she's image. Huge <laughs> eyes, no mouth, and she's just shaking. And, and they use that. Here's here's my, I'm going to show you the, um, here's her face right here. And this is mostly of the time her face, just this big eyes, and it's so good. It's so good. And they and, and and again, there's 400 chapters. There's these bunch of characters just coming in and out. They've done this one thing three times that I've gone to so far. It's this one character that's go, go buy me something. They'll be like, go buy me this over elaborate sandwich. And she'll go to this place and just like hang out there. Just like, I'm going in. I can't go in. I can't go in. And then she'll go in just like, uh, and then and the person's like, you want a sandwich, don't you? I know exactly what sandwich you want. And she just walks out all sad because she's got the wrong sandwich. And it's, they've done that like three times. And each time it's amazing because it's good characters <laughs> doing good things and that's all you need for me and i love as, it so as as... darn much and i'm i'm glad that i'm not just sitting here going <laughs> it's great and everybody it just ear one ear and out the other like yeah whatever da whatever you as soon your as you crap. said slice of life with like characters doing fun things i'm like hold on here <laughs> hey, well, hey. i'm reading this one maggot call me yes <laughs> Oh man. Okay. Uh, it's I'm just so gonna, good. I'm just going to breeze. We talk about video games. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say one thing about that though? <laughs> when I speak, 
I speak with passion. Absolutely. Most of the time, you guys just go, yeah, so the new Assassin's Creed is coming out. Y'all look pretty good. I, I like the no naval passion. battle. Word, 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 no, word. I ain't got no passion for no creed. Okay, okay, but most of the time, it's like that. But I try to inject a little bit of passion into what I say. <laughs> what the Hopefully. fuck did you just say? Passion. Passion. It's passion okay. for, in Italian, and it's also sure. a JoJo's Pie thing. Okay. Watch or yeah. visit it, pro. <laughs> mm-hmm. Read uh, Comey can communicate, pro. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh yeah. How how far did you get in Ike? Oh um. Yeah, I I got past the first um first manga, and then I got into the second one. I'm like, my girl ain't here. So I, it's a wrap I'm for right now. Yeah. I'm <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Did you try any of the other ones? Uh, almost. I, I got caught in Comey. Okay, that's cool. But uh, I just shared it in the chat here, but you were right. Yeah, the Resident Evil Resist game is 4v1. Boom. Confirmed. Boom. A Resident Evil spinoff where the four players work together to escape the clutches of a player-controlled mastermind. Boom. Yeah, it's going to be garbage. Never mind. Boom. It's It's like I know... How do these game companies think? Hire me. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's the that's a big difference between you and me. You like hire me, game. Da, there's this dude. There's like autographs. It's all you're like. No, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want opportunity. I, I don't want this. You knocking down doors and people are knocking down my doors. <laughs> You're trying to nail it back up and just, oh, come on. Bro, I would pay oodles of money for a Creed multiplayer focused game. Oh, dude, I mean, it was yeah, so fun. Was They'll never do it again. Bro, Creed is something that would be amazing for a battle royal. Ubisoft won't do it. A Creed focused battle yep. royal game? Yep. Agreed, but they won't do it. It would be Battle Royal or it could be Team Bates. And oh my God. I And then you can have the naval one. Yeah. Like trying to board ships or just trying to kill them from it's afar. The, it would be de- amazing. The expansions make itself. It's just different periods in time. It's easy. You can do like Native American <laughs> beginnings like Aztecs. You can do, again, pirate era. You can do Greece, Rome. Japan, you could do so many different ways of going about it. It makes itself, but they won't do it because it's Ubisoft. It's funny. I just said I got no passion for Creed, and I spoke passionately about a Creed multi. <laughs> yeah, you did. You just you just went in on that. But I I love the multiplayer. It was so good. It was so different. And then they just went no more. Yeah, I still I mean, pop in Creed for multiplayer sometimes. <laughs> if the if the servers even still work. They do. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, wait, no, no. Uh, I haven't played it in months. Maybe they shut it down for the PS4. But yeah, <laughs> last time I checked, it, it worked. I f- and love the multiplayer. And then every game is just bigger and better, but there's no multiplayer, so I don't care. I don't care about Odyssey. <laughs> okay. They say it's the best Creed game. It's yep. one of the best RPGs. I don't give a shit. Give me my multiplayer. Fran is okay. Is it? I hear the opposite. I hear that game is dead banned. No, it's okay. Okay. It's fun if you know what you're doing. If you're just okay. trying to go in there mashing, you're going to get mauled. So it's not good for beginners, but it's a learning curve. But once you learn, it's good. Okay. And they're All chunky right. because they have a lot of armor and stuff. Um, okay. I'm just going to breeze through the other just things oh yeah because we're way over yeah <laughs> hey we, we had good discussions I, that's fine yeah um uh chucklefish is under some fire right now they're the guys who uh published stardew valley because they apparently exploited a bunch of young devs when making their breakout game starbound um there was like promises of revenue share and stuff like that and they basically had these young devs how about this for free no <laughs> So yeah. How about this? Counter no. offer. <laughs> <laughs> Unfold. No. <laughs> yeah. Like mm. basically they were drawn in by because the uh, guy who's running Chucklefish made uh Terraria. 
So they're like, oh, it's an indie uh, dev legend, and then he exploited the shit out of them, apparently. Um, uh, Gears 5 is out. Blair Witch is out. I don't know if anybody's played those, but they're Gal out. Gal 5 is apparently... It's not Gal 5. It's it. Gears 5. They dropped of war. Yeah, yep. you're right. It is Gears 5 now. <laughs> now it I've... belongs to the rightful owner. God of War. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard from a few of my friends who've played, including my brother, that it plays kind of like two, which is arguably the best of the multiplayer versions of that game, and, but with like the mechanics of three. Okay. So I've heard a lot of really fun things about it, and it's apparently one of the best games in the series. Okay. Okay. I, I, from what I've heard, if I had an Xbox, I would buy it for it. Would I play it on my computer? No. Because their Microsoft is notorious for that game, and with their um driver updates destroying that game oh interesting the last gears of war <clears throat> barely functioned on pc barely yeah gears 4 was just kind of a fart in the wind <laughs> yeah for me <laughs> so i'll wait for a while to hear if they've made it so the game functions better on pc for five if they did i might consider picking it up down the road but uh for right now um it's the hard pass in that yeah it's right now there's a there's a queue that <laughs> i'm working through right now <laughs> of games and gears 5 is very much at the end of it um <clears throat> uh blair witch bg that seems like a game in your alley but oh yeah definitely um it looks interesting too but i'm i'm trying to keep as little information as possible about that. okay <laughs> so i literally i get uh i walk upstairs yesterday go into go up to my roommate uh he's playing a game on his computer i'm like hey what you playing he's like oh blair witch i'm like goodbye <laughs> just turned around <laughs> and walked you away puss. <laughs> oh. bg we know the extent of his bitchness it's not even a surprise at this point uh, um yeah the He'll uh, find certain sandwich combinations too scary to look at you're right <laughs> Uh, okay, the next game on my docket is the, uh, mech game that's coming out for, uh, Switch. Oh, actually, that. What yeah. did it, uh, I pulled up a review article. What did it get? <laughs> 6.5. Yeah, it's not good. Uh, that'll just be a guilty pleasure game. I'm sorry, mech games almost 100% of the time are not fun. Uh, hey, disagree. Hey, Enders, get in there. I said almost 100% mech of the time. Zoe is the very, very, very cusp franchise that is god tier. Get Mac in Warrior. there, Mech Warrior. I didn't like Mech Warrior. Mech for Warrior. Uh, and I guess you might consider Xenoblade Chronicles X kind of because you do get into Mech. <laughs> it's <laughs> not a Mech bit. game. Um, yeah, that's real. I mean, that's what the combat looks like though for this new game. But anyways, um. The Switch is getting a new peripheral, but nobody knows what the fuck it is. It's 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 a it's a ring. You put your Joy Cons in it. It seems like it's gonna be a Wii Fit successor, but they haven't said anything. They just have a trailer of people doing stuff with it. I don't. <laughs> I have no idea. Get in there. Um, I guess. Uh, Death Stranding is adding a very easy mode for people that just like oh, movies. Okay, yeah. I'm fine with that. Yeah, like, it, there's a lot of stars in this game, so it's whatever. Um, and the other thing, this is just cool. Um, so people obviously still have copies of PT, even though it's not available to oh, download yeah, anymore. Yeah, boy. And someone hacked the uh, game. Anybody can re-download it. Yeah. Uh, via means. <laughs> um, and some guy no, hacked... totally legal. <laughs> really? Mm, there's a legal way to get it. Oh. If you've already gotten it before, I mean. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. If you uh, never got it, yeah, there's no chance. But if you've gotten it before, yeah, there's a legal way to get it. Yeah. So someone hacked the game and found out that the moment you pick up the flashlight in the game, Lisa is always behind you. Always. She's just basically chained to your back. And just no matter which way you turn, she's just always right fucking behind you. <laughs> yep. So people just like they like inverted the camera, turned it around, and there she's just floating there, right next to you. Like, hey, how's how's it going? <laughs> so 
That just added adds another layer of creepiness to an already very creepy game. So p people make the argument that that is the scariest game of all time, even though it's just like a short little experience. Agree? Disagree? I wouldn't say that. Definitely not. Eh. What, what would that uh, game be for you? I don't know, but uh, that's just very jump scary uh, and atmospheric. But I feel like there are other games that stick with you longer. Like Silent Hill 2, that, that can stick with you. There's some things to think about. There's some really creepy imagery as opposed to something just screeching at you. I've never had a horror anything carry over with me. They're oh, I'm big into horror. Give, give it, it to me. Huh, <laughs> Dissidia. I'm going to get that. But is there Sorry, I'm new? looking at games that are uh, on sale right now. Oh, okay. Final Fantasy? Bruh. Final Fantasy 15 never goes below $25. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just like, $20, I'm in there. Well, I think a big thing, too, is they had the, like, Complete King Edition that came out, like, a year ago. Mm -hmm. So that's, I think it was, like, it could have dipped down if not for that, which added, like, a whole new ending to the game. <laughs> yeah, but the Royal Edition has been out for... It was probably... January, right? Yeah, and it's always twenty five when it goes on sale. I can, I've gotten Resident Evil Seven, the deluxe edition, a year later for like nineteen bucks. But they didn't release new content for it. It was the deluxe edition. the The DLC wasn't even fully out yet, or it, okay. it had just finished its last DLC um uh case file. Okay, I and... I got I got the Assassin's Creed Odyssey ultimate edition that came with all the dlc now coming out and for the future for ten dollars on sale on the ubisoft app oh okay well yeah <clears throat> just no excuse just then make it below 20 jesus <laughs> mm -hmm. okay that's all the news that i had so with that 14 we'll be... facts about fish <laughs> what okay sure yeah Go you know why <laughs> Oh, Shenmue 1 and 2 at $18. I might get that. Uh, BG, <laughs> I think you haven't picked in a while. Uh, You say 14 facts? Yep. Let's go to Hot 6. Number? It's not a weird number. There are no weird numbers. <laughs> Some uh, of them are weirder than others. Hmm. Maybe palindrome numbers? No. Just our usual numbers. 5 is a weird number. What? <laughs> State your case. <laughs> no, what? Never mind. Not the time. Uh, a curious event of rain of fish occurs every year in the city of in the city of Euro in Honduras, where hundreds of fish rain from the sky. And that's huh. the end of the fact. There is nothing else. <laughs> not what causes it. Not nothing. It's just that. Well, why are we looking into this? <laughs> What was this? Uh, hold on, hold on. We, this we are is like a new plague <laughs> we are every year. You said in Honduras? Yep, rain of fish. All right, Honduras. Rain. <laughs> we learned. Hey, you know what? I put Honduras rain, and the first thing is raining fish. Okay. Like, no, no, we got it, homie. <laughs> Save your clicks. <laughs> we, we know what you're here for. Say that keyboard. Them key Nobody shows, searches it. Honduras. We know. Yeah, it's weather report. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Bro, what's going Man, on? I talking about that. Y'all ain't ready for that conversation. <laughs> what the f Any okay. information there, Mike? Hold on. Uh, da, 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 he's da, reading da. it and he's yeah. in disbelief because it's true. Known as the uh, Luvia de Pesis, or Rain of Fish, it is said to occur at least <laughs> once and sometimes twice in a year in a small town of Yoro. During a massive rainstorm, hundreds of small silver fish supposedly rain down from the sky onto the streets of the small town. Something that's ha happening in town since the 1800s. E d -d 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 -d. Flapping, flopping, small, it just happens. still living fish. Uh, witness the event. Still the living? Of such phenomena, yeah. though the proof that the fish were coming from the sky and not another source remained elusive. 
Known as animal rain, this weather phenomenon has been reported around the world for centuries, though the scientific understanding of it still remains sketchy. So they don't know! Uh, <laughs> um, scientists say, uh. Like, uh, we're looking into climate change. They know how CO2 affects the ozone, but they can't figure out why fish is coming from the sky? Yearly. <laughs> yearly! This ain't like it happened twice over a century. This is like every year. Put so twice! twice. Hold on. Fish. By and large, reports of animal rain generally concern fish and frogs, but other far more disturbing reports have been told of birds, snakes, foot-long alligators, jellyfish, mice, spiders, and even a, quote, rain of flesh and blood. What the I, hell is I, wrong with our planet? Idea. Cancel humanity. It's <laughs> what? over. What Look, the we, hell? We lost the war on AIDS. Get them in there for this oh, blood yeah, and flesh. Yeah, yeah. Rip on AIDS. We done there. <laughs> we beat polio. Humanity won something. Hey, hey, yo, can we get two scientists on here? <laughs> no, no, no. We need to see how this monkey reacts to this flamethrower, you see. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> he doesn't like it. Write it down. <laughs> okay, y'all are done with that. And there's still three more monkeys. <laughs> So you, you know you what? have to you... keep testing and retesting for science. You know what? Uh, this Friday is Friday the 13th. It's going to be a full moon. It's also my birthday, so I'm fully expecting animal rain now. <laughs> animal <laughs> That's just gonna... rain. No, you know what? It's not going to be animal rain. You're just going to wake up and you have a flock of fucking birds surrounding you all goddamn day. Again! A whole bunch of Mike, you already had your cataclysmic birds. Check for any unpaid tickets, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Check your draws for poo. <laughs> and you hold up, and you've already been visited by pestilence with bed bugs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on? You're yeah. We can't be friends with you anymore. Apparently. <laughs> You're gonna bring my firstborn child. <laughs> 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 Oh, man, I just, you know what? I had a thought in my head. No, no brain. We are not going to vocalize this thought. What? No, yes, you have your mouth. No, it, it is bad. <laughs> Bruh, say it. Trust, sometimes, no. sometimes. Sometimes it's just like, in this court. <laughs> you got to dial it back. You know yeah. what's coming and you know it's not good. Some yeah. things you just can't take back. Yeah. I know. <laughs> you just got to go, mm, eh, eh. Yeah. So with that, uh, uh, as a reminder, there will be no podcast episode next week because DA and I will be moshing and headbanging to some baby metal uh, yeah. next Wednesday. Yeah, he also has jury duty next week. <laughs> <laughs> Why you remind me? <laughs> Someone's Fun got stuff. To. So, uh, with that, thank you everybody for tuning into this episode of the podcast of stuff. We will see you in two weeks. Later.